Hey everybody, welcome back to Andrew Channel International. I'm Andrew, and today we're going to play some Crusader Kings 3. Let's play a new game using the old set of DLC that are available. Today is the uh, uh, 9th of uh, November 2023 for me, and I can finally play with Legacy of Persia, the latest DLC that Paradox released, uh, which is focusing on... Uh, let's say, the ruins of the Abbasid Caliphate, and we can do really a lot of stuff. There is a lot of flavor, Persian flavor. Uh, there is also um, a, a, new, a completely new tradition for families, and there is a new mechanic, the Iranian intermezzo, that I want to focus on. Uh, there is also, of course, a new start, the Iranian intermezzo, uh, as I said, in um, 80, 867, and there are five rulers that are suggested by the developers, of course, and each ruler has a level of uh, challenge and a particular flavor. Of course, we are going to get the Count of Mazandaran, Rostam I. And Rostam I is very particular. Why do I pick him? By the way, let's uh, immediately flag the Iron Man mode and let's click on Start. This boy, this guy, has a little dirty secret. All oh, right, Sassanid, Iron Man, let's start it. This little dirty secret is that he's not as pious as he would look like. He has a secret faith, of course, in public, is Islamic. He's a respectable Muslim man, but in secret, he still worships the old gods of Persia. The Zoroastrism. And <laughs> on my Italian channel, I'm bringing some Persian content with Europe Universalis 4, and they also converted Persia to Zoroastrism there. I think that here the challenge is going to be even more difficult. So let's get started. But first, let me introduce you to the Iranian intermeds. Bloody civil strife embroils the once unassailable Arabian Empire. The ruling family murdered and war with another, competing to usurp the caliphate. Iraq reels whilst beyond the eastern mountains. Persian frontier lords take advantage of the situation to assert their independence, building empires of their own from Baghdad's rubble. With the masters of Islam locked in perpetual crisis, this is an opportunity like no other for the Bavandidars to become masters of our own fate and carve our name into the annals of history. So, we are involved in this intermezzo. The mechanic reminds uh, a lot of the Iberian struggle, of course, in, uh, if you remember the DLC, the Fate of Iberia introduced this very, very good mechanic, and they really liked Fate of Iberia for this mechanic, so I'm happy that now we have something similar for Iran. I actually encourage Paradox to develop this side of the game, because Crusader Kings 3 is getting really, I, I would say, um, more depth when we have those local struggles. I would really love to see something like this in Italy as we saw that in Spain, or in France, or in Germany even. Why not? That, that would be really cool. Anyways, for the time being, the Intermezzo has uh, also here some phases, and those phases are triggered by particular mechanics that we are going to see throughout the game. I'm not, I'm not going to show you everything now, but I'm quickly showing you that each mechanic can um, give some effects that are buffs or debuffs, okay? So, may Allah be with me, and may also Hauramad be with me. Um, I skate the user interface to make things more readable, because I'm playing on an HD monitor, it's probably pretty big, and so I, I hope that this looks good for you guys. Please give me a feedback about that, if, if you want me to skate it better. I'm not gonna use the tutorial, I'm sorry. But I am, no, 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 I'm not doing it. But I'm not going to the Great Tournament. But, no, I'm not doing this. But, eh, yeah, now we are there. But we need to build our government first. But first, let me take a selfie. First, let's go and meet Sheikh Rostam, Karin Zaid of Mazandaran. Thanks God, I'm going to butcher a new language in this series. I've been butchering English all... <laughs> <laughs> in my own series, and now I can butcher also the ancient Persian, the Farsi. I don't know what they were speaking back in time, but anyways, if someone is speaking old Persian, please let me know. Our family is led by Rostam. He's a skilled tactician, he's a skilled soldier, so I'm gonna play... I will try to add some flavor. I'm gonna play with the role play model, meaning that if I have a soldier, I will try to make a lot of wars. If I have a diplomat, I will try to um, maybe strengthen my position throughout alliances. 
if I have an assassin, then I will try to use the intrigue way. But of course, I'm not going to, let's say, try hard or min max. I, I just play to have fun. I hope you will also enjoy. Now, now we know this guy, he has also a wife. Um, the wife is uh, Shaika uh, Tamina. She's also helpful in the martial. Pity that she's such a terrible steward because I would have used some stewardship to improve my domain and holding um, uh, limit, but fine, it is as it is. Our hair is Shervin. Uh, the little Shervin has one little point in diplomacy, one little point in learning, and two points in prowess. So he can, in the kindergarten, is is really all the time fighting with other kids and probably, I don't know, maybe sometimes he's beating them, sometimes he's getting beaten. Let's see. Uh, the first thing I want to do, I want to educate the child myself, right? So I want to give him also uh, a martial focus because I am a soldier, so why not? I don't want to find a, a girlfriend yet or a future wife. Uh, let's go now to the court chaplain. We need to get someone with a very good value in learning with no one. And by the way, uh, Kurkir is already the spy master. And Karin, which is our father, is very sick, he's near to the death, is our marshal. Oh my goodness, I have no one that, I, that can be my... Oh, by the way, the user interface now is too big. <laughs> now it looks much better, I guess, right? Um, I had to go and change it, uh, apologies for that. I, still, I, I hope that you can still see uh, also on a mobile phone or a smartphone. Oh, well. All right, so we need to bring people. We need to bring people in our court. This is very, very important, but we don't have a lot of uh, a lot of money. So what we are going to do, let's first of all try to check if we can... Um, we have only p terrible people um, as physicians. Let's try to employ a physician. We will start the search, which is very important. Then we are going to have a look at our courtiers. Maybe we can get some guests. Or... Oh, oh, my brother is a Mazdayasna organized Zoroastrian faith. My dear brother, I believe that you need a wife. Let's. There is. There are also wives that could follow the old religion. Yes, embrace tradition, reject modernity. Elnas will be the wife of my good brother, so they will. Uh, do some very nice extra oh what is this ha huh. i i can add this is a new thing i mean being part of my clan i can extol virtuousness or accuse of decadence if i want to let's say struggle in the family not bad not bad at all i'm going to increase the relation with my beloved brother because maybe i have the chance then to embrace this religion myself even if i believe that there must be Reveal the true faith. We need 150 piety uh, points, and then we can do that. All right, let's pick uh, the martial lifestyle, right? Oh, the, the, the user interface is always too big. I'm so sorry about that, guys. I have to change it again. Much better. Um, well, strategy is great. Uh, authority is okay. Probably attraction of advantage is pretty good if we are fighting uh, on the field let's take prowess I, I like this and now we are an overseer let's start with that okay uh, what else can we do i was saying okay let's have a look at the court because maybe we can invite some uh, courtiers but i don't have any any okay what i could do i could Pay 40 ducats to Argavan to... No, I'm not going to do that. Let's unpause the game. And let's have a look at the wars that we can start. You can claim your religious title, first of all. But in order to do that, I need a lot of prestige. Um, I can station my Manetar because I have a pike. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it here. And then I've also the archers. I'm gonna park them here for the time being okay which is great which is great very good uh i'm not employing a wet nurse <laughs> the problem is that okay i can search for a wet nurse but i think that they're very expensive 
and now we can unpause the game. So, wet nurse, we have Turan, we have uh, uh, Azmiriki Dogabigibi, then we have, uh, yeah, okay, whatever. How much are they willing to pay? Okay, Azarmi Doct, she's probably not the best lady in the universe, right? Oh my goodness, Turan is amazing. Turan is amazing, she has a 20 learning, she's relatively young, she's lawyer and she's a philosopher. I am going to pick her. I could also employ her like as a court physician, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Asami Doc. She's bad. Ah, no, she's another Asami Doc. Actually, she's a good physician. And she's also a good wife for, for some guests. So uh, let's employ her. And let's immediately ask her if she can find a spouse. Of course, not me. But we could find, for example, some valid fighter that could follow me in war. Um, let's have a look if. Oh, we have um, another Zoroastrian guy here. My tax collector and a suar. Okay, he's already in my in my um, at my court. Let's let's pick um, Pushman because he's not zealous. And uh, having a matrilinear marriage, I would bring him to court. So now we have uh, um, an, a new Aswar for free. And now we go to the other lady the wet nurse and we do the same we get a suppose and um, it would be great if we could bring some very very smart person so we, you see we have a lot of people here that they would accept to get married and come to my court with a matrilinear now i just need to check if darab can become my court chaplain yes he can so let's assign him welcome and uh, and we will need to increase the relations with him but that's not a big problem the intermens at the moment. The current phase is unrest. It means that... Oh, it means the following. Let's have a look. Beset by rebellious and intrigues, the Caliphate crumbles. Ambitious warlords... Let me pause. Um, and cunning governors like grasp at whatever power they can absorb, squabbling constantly. Over time, unless the situation is resolved by an ending phase, the real will enter a stabilization phase as desperate supporters close back caliphate authority okay so the catalyst progress you can see them here um when something happens uh there is a catalyst so there are some points that happen um reaching 500 progress will uh, score toward the ending phase all right and here we have stabilization so here we have uh, concession and here stabilization Okay, let's see where we will go. Concession ending all wars between independent evil rulers and with a white peace. All independent uh, rulers get truce. 50 years! Oh my goodness, that's a lot. And they lose the claim. Wow! The stabilization is not the best one, I would say. I would like to go into a, a war phase, you know. We will see. So... In the meantime, my marshal is not there anymore. Well, thanks God. Now we have Pushman. That's another guy that we brought from, from the external market, I would say. Um, he can train the, the, the knights. And we can get more pipe if we want. And now I want to check finally. I can declare a lot of wars. I can de declare a war on Gilan. Let me check if I can declare a war also on Ruyan because it's so uh, small. Ah, and by the way, our liege, the Emir Hazan, the missionary, uh, is hating us kind of, right? Yeah, he does. Okay, I cannot declare a war because I don't have a Casus Belli. But I can claim the title because I am uh, the head of dynasty. But it has cost and I am I'm not willing to pay that. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to fabricate on Ruyan. Claim, just simple, as simple as that. And if we fabricate a claim here, in eight months time, we will have the chance to uh, buy the claim and then attack. I pre I'm pretty sure that we will end up in a debt because we don't have a lot of money now, but... Caliphate concern. The Eastern Frontier has, uh, has long been a refuge for Ethan's and strange sect, yet in Samara the Caliph Mutuz has grown increasingly, increasingly concerned about this. Okay, what should we do with those? Afridunist, which are Zoroastrian, by the way. 
the scripture in the proper language we should in the way. I can get a lot of faith and lose money. Oh no, I need money. I can send my court. I have more urgent uh, concerns. Oh no, if I have more urgent concerns, then I will lose my faith. Um, I can get some stress uh, and some dread. Or I can send my court imam. Get a little bit of stress because I'm diligent. But uh, let's send a Perfect. And that, that means that now I could convert myself, right? Rebuilt your faith. Ah, still, I'm still missing something. Okay. Fine. Uh, but at the meantime, I didn't lose the 50 uh, ducats that um, I will need to buy <laughs> to claim the uh, the county of Ruyan. And then we actually see this finally. The words of the moon. The delegation from Amun slowly files out of my private chambers. Our long meeting finally over. The petitioner begged for money to repair the crumble. No, 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 no. My money. My money's for me. Crumbling walls in Mazandaran. I don't mind for 20 years because I need the money to claim Ruyan. I'm a very bad, I'm a very bad leader, but I'm a very good investor. I hope. And by the way, how many troops do they have? 700. It's pretty good because we have a thousand. And we have a thousand and we have also good leaders and good soldiers. So it shouldn't be a big deal. Hopefully. Ooh, household savings. Also, wow. And sharing uh cool. He became roadie. Bam. Alright, we have the claim, guys. We can declare war on the Sheikh Shandria. And let's do it right now with my claim. And of course, in your opinion, can I see the user interface here below? And the answer is right, no. So I need to make my screen even smaller. And I apologize for that. I hope that you can still follow. Uh, and now I will click on the claim. And here we are. We are ready to attack. We, I'm going to claim um, to sorry, rally the point here. I will raise all my troops. And mm, so my marshal could be the leader. But honestly speaking, I'm a better military leader. So I'm going to attack immediately. They're defending in mountains. But honestly speaking, can I go, for example, and try to uh, attack, uh, so lure them into, um, into a fight? No, I have to attack. I, they are defending on the mountains. That's it. Let's decrease. I might use some mercenary, but I don't have them. Okay, we have a strategic impasse. Maybe this uh, event can give us some uh, improvements. Yes, sure. Valley or Cook here. Ah, okay. I can gain improved maneuverability. Well, we, yes. Enemy defense is advantage. No, I prefer to have improved offense. That would be wonderful. Enemy fatal casualties plus 10%. Attacker advantage plus 5. And if I use both, ah, the commanders get it. No, 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 no. I, I want to have the improved offensive. So you see that now we have a plus 8. Uh, I can show you the statistics now. We have a great advantage in battle, so uh, that's gonna help us. Because they're depending in the, in their, on their mountains, that's uh, a big advantage. But oh my goodness, Bujan killed uh, an enemy. Oh, I thought that someone killed me. I can convert myself now. Spending some points, I could convert myself into a new um, faithful person, but I'm not going to do it now. First, I want to conquer this land. First of all, I need eight months of siege, but we can do it. I think that here our Retinius won the battle. And then we are going to check. By the way, I didn't have a look at the... I did, okay. The Zaydid, the current holder, is uh, our Emir, is the count of this area. And now, wait a minute, they're coming back, but this time we are... Uh, I mean, they're defending the mountains, okay? So that we were defending the mountains now. But if they're... All right, no, fine. Yeah, we are much stronger now. They lost a lot of troops, so 
every time there is a battle we're winning and sponsor conquest of bars attacking all oh, right wow there is a there there is oh my goodness <laughs> Pars is here under attack we don't care about that let's enforce our demands i don't want any hostage so be it look at this we are we have already ruyan new city and of course we don't leave it there we have to increase the control on ruyan it's the first thing that we do and that's it so now we have uh, at least three cities and this is going to give us it's gonna give us a little bit more a uh, gold i could do a great tournament but actually i don't don't want because here you see that the valley uh Bas sudan of gilan has only 668 troops which is very little and we have a claim on him so we can get ready for the next war but we will see this in the next episode so i thank you very much for watching look at the map like this it's much nicer right i hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope that you you will enjoy this full series of course i don't know how long it will play how many episodes how many years but for sure i would really like to found uh the Russian empire in persia so if you like the idea please leave a thumbs up and uh, and a comment hey guys is bulgaria supposed to be so big all right let me have a thing in the comment we we'll see each other next time have a great day